Hello and welcome back to CS38 Racing and today we are reviewing the Ride 5 Free Pack 4 which includes the Aprilia RSV 1000R from 2009 and the Honda v VTR 1000 SP 2 from 2006. So as you can see, distinctive Aprilia bike there. Didn't really know that much about the RSV until recently, but this bike doesn't look too bad. I can, I, I can, I can get behind it. I dig it. I see what it's doing. So that's quite nice. And then we've also got the Honda VTR 1000 SP2. So we've got those added as well to the game. I know this video is a bit late, but better late than never. So let's get these bikes out on the track and see what they can do. All right, let's take the Aprilia down to the track. Let's take it to Autopolis. Okay, let's see what we can do here with the Aprilia. I'm already liking the colors of it. I like it so far. Alright, so I really like the colour of the Aprilia here. Definitely a very nice colour. Oop, we're deep there into this sort of hairpin. Okay, so... I'm not a big fan of its turning ability. doesn't feel like it turns as readily as you want it to. Feels like you kind of have to break and sort of hold the gear and sort of, I guess, float uh, in between waiting for the front of the bike to turn around for you. Which makes it quite hard in the mid corner sections here. And it just wants to keep creeping wide. Okay, so that seems to get it a bit better hooked up on the exit of that corner. Here we still can't get the exact apex we want. We kind of take a late apex. As we try and ride the bike 
into the corner. It definitely likes to oversteer quite a lot. Oh, sorry, understeer. Let's see if we have enough to get around this. Is this a BMW? Looks like it. Yeah, now I'm sort of starting to settle into the characteristics. It does feel a bit better, but it still has the tendency to understeer like crazy. Which is quite annoying in that sort of last sector where there's a lot of mid corner turning because you kind of have to roll off the throttle oh and we dropped the front there come on let's get going again what how is that even Anyway, aside from that and the uh, physics, crash physics in uh, Ride 5, I would say once you sort of get used to this bike, do a few laps with it around a track and sort of get an understanding of how it really ticks, what makes it tick, what makes it easy to turn then you could probably make it work a lot better probably changing the brakes and the uh, suspension and, and sort of putting some slicks on it will probably vastly improve the majority of the problems that I would have with this bike but overall it's not too bad I'd give it a CS38 racing mark of about uh, 6 out of 10 Okay, so let's take the Honda down to Okayama for a short race and see how we go. Certainly got a deep sound to it there. Very thick exhausts on the outside, dual pipe exhausts. Oh, wiped out there. Overall, it handles... Whoop! Got a bit of a barge there. But overall, it handles really nice. I think it's a excellent bike. Definitely something to use in the sort of older superbike categories, but something that's still quite nice to ride, has nice rider feel about it, and isn't too bad looking on the other hand either. I mean, I'm not a fan of the big 
chunky rear pipes, but some people are, I suppose. We do tend to get a lot more pace here than the AI through that section. But it seemed to work out quite well for us there. to make a move here on Felix. We make it stick. It's a bit of a block pass. Oh, we're stuck out wide there on the the dirty part of the track. Felix gets back through and possibly even does David or David. Got a better run out of the final corner there. Oh, we're too deep into there. Oop. We're able to get a lot better speed through that section, but bar the result, this is a very nice handling bike, a very fun addition to the game. I'd give this a CS38 rating of probably uh, for rideability, handling, uh, overall style and look. Uh, maybe 5 out of 10. Alright, so that rounds it up for this one guys. Make sure you put down in the comments below which one was your favourite bike from this pack and what's your rating out of 10 on these bikes or any stories you have about these. Are these a bike that you have or someone that you know has owned or is it your favourite bike maybe? Uh, anyway, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, make sure to check out the other videos on the channel. We've got plenty of other videos here for you to watch. So if you haven't had enough if from this one and you want to watch some more, check out the channel. There's plenty there. Um, anyway, on that note, have a good one, stay safe, have fun, keep living life, and see you on the next one.